Hi everyone. So today I thought um, I will actually try out these uh, this paper sample pack that I have um, featured not too long ago when I did the I think it was Jackson's art haul video. Sorry about the noise um, outside. So I actually um, haven't. I just told you what these papers were but I haven't really played with them. I haven't kind of, and that's the best way to understand how the paper behaves or how the watercolor behaves on the paper. So, um, now you can get this like for 50p or a pound, I don't remember, they're very cheap and it's the, the best way um, to look on your online shop. I think some of you asked where you can get um, a, a paper sample pack. Well, I get mine from Jackson's Art, but you can um, have a look at any art supplies online shop that you like to shop, whether they do that, or if you like to shop in person, then um, ask your um, shop assistant, um, you know, whether they, they do that. and they would be happy to help you so here we have if you want to see in detail what these are you can go to that whole video I'll try to link it below so it's easier for you to find but basically you get alpha beta gamma delta epsilon and zeta series and then you get different um, weight of the paper so the heavy weight would be 150 gsm and extra heavy weight would be 270 gsm so let's go to alpha series and they also have different um, textures so the alpha series that i have right here is a matte uh, so medium grain and it's 150 gsm so i'm going to swatch two colors and also try to mix them um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to use my um, St. Petersburg White Knights watercolors. So let's do this. So we'll start with the Alpha series and I'm going to first go into color called Rose. So essentially it's a pink color. So I'm just going to start by swatching it like that and see how it behaves and how much water this paper could take. I'm going to really go as much or as long as I can. And then I'm going to um, actually repeat the same on the next one. So the next one is the Better series and it's a cold press. So it supposedly has more texture and it's the 270 GSM, so the extra heavy weight. <coughs> so, it seems to be, so this one is warping, as you can see, and this one doesn't seem to do that. So it stays nice and straight, so it's thicker, obviously. Now, um, I'm interested in that because they have a lovely range of um, sketchbooks and I'm thinking of you know obviously depending how I will like it but I want to try their thinner papers and this is a great way to to do that before you buy so I'm going now to go into ultramarine and do the same thing so I'm going to water the color out and see how it's going to behave Also, watercolor tends to do different things on different papers. For example, granulation. It could granulate or show granulation on one paper more than other. So we will see that again once it's truly, truly dry. So I'm going to use the Range Craft Mat over here to mix the color. It will be hard to tell what color I'm mixing because it's a um, brown kind of thing but that doesn't really matter I'm going to trying to wash off my brush this is a very staining color by the way so hence so I'm going now I have um, mixed two of these colors so the rose and the ultramarine to get a purple 
and see how that behaves like so I'm going to go into this color again and do it on this paper I don't know if you can pick up on that but I already can see that the granulation in the ultramarine is happening a lot stronger oops I made a mistake um, on this paper here on the cold press and that could be maybe because it's sort of I don't know actually why that could be but hopefully you can see okay so I'm going to now let these dry and we'll come back to them later next I want to have a look is at these so those were the pure white or the white papers and these are the ivory so I'm just going to clean the mat and I will do the exactly same thing so I'm going to squeeze out some water like that and oh that was a little bit too much I think obviously ivory paper is going to give you a completely different look to to the illustration or to the piece of art that you're doing because it's not going to be as crisp and clear as the white one the watercolor will look different on the um, or the pigment will look different on this paper so here is the ultramarine now and I've got some purple in there so it's mixing a little bit and I'm going to go back into ultramarine intensify it a little bit more <clears throat> so it's a bit washy and so that's that and then I'm going to go into this and this and the two colors together and needs a bit more ultramarine here we go the lovely purple A bit too washed out. Mm -hmm. So the obvious, of course, is that the 270 GSM takes a lot more liquid um, and moisture. So if I haven't mentioned, this is the Gamma series and it's the medium grey. Sorry, this one here, the first one, and it's 150 GSM. And then this one is um, cold pressed and it's the Delta series and it's 270 GSM. And the same thing I can see again in terms of granulation. On this paper there is a lot more granulation compared to this one. So let's, um, so I'm going to put them aside again for them to dry completely and then come back to it. Okay, so the final two I will do are these two because these ones, I don't know, I'm not really, you know, they're kind of the beige, grey and the black and obviously they're for different purpose, I do. So the Absalon series, series is the smooth, so that's the only smooth one and it's got, um, it's 150 GSM, so it's a smooth, thin paper and then or thinner and then we have the Zeta series which is also smooth and 270 GSM so um, both of them are smooth and they come in different um, different weight so I'm going to go back into the rows so let's see how the granulation goes on the smooth paper it should be different. I love using my um, Ranger craft mat for mixing colors because it's so easy to just wipe it. You don't need to go and wash your palette or anything like that. It's just really 
great in terms of time saving. And let's try the ultramarine on this paper. And then I'm going to mix them too, create a lovely purple and do that. <clears throat> okay. All right, so I think that should be it now. So I'm going to dry them really quickly and then come back and we'll see the end result. Okay, so I have dried them and as you dry them they kind of you know bend a little bit and generally after they completely after the paper completely cools down it goes back flat but to be honest with you I don't have the patience right now because I need to film um, another video so I am going to go through these with you now um, so I'm just probably going to zoom in so you can see better so this is the um, alpha series the medium grain 150 GSM you can see actually it's now cooling down so it sort of is quite flat it was quite bent before but it's flat now so to be honest with you I quite like this paper I'll show you very quickly if I can find it somewhere where is it hiding now oh yeah it's in the obvious place so I got this um, Stillman and Vern little sketchbook and I got it with the 270 GSM paper so it's quite um, rigid in a way that you can break it in a little bit and make it flat but the papers are quite thick so that's what makes it feel a little bit rigid and I thought what if I you know for the next time go for something smoother uh, sorry smoother go for something that is um, thinner so that would be good and um, this particular one is a cold press so it's got that texture okay so I do like the alpha series um, it's got that sort of medium grain and it's not very smooth so compared I'll show you as a comparison now this is the smooth 150 so I hope you can see I just do them side by side that you have a little bit of a texture on the medium grain and speaking of which it also I feel like it makes the watercolor look more interesting than it does on the smooth paper again I hope you can pick up on the lovely granulation compared to the smooth so this is the medium grain and this is the smooth okay so now let's go to beta series and that's the that's what I have in that um, uh, sketchbook so it's obviously perfect it's 270 GSM so it's called press it's a kind of good watercolor paper um, so yeah the watercolor does look lovely on it then let's go into these ivory now personally this is um, personal kind of um, taste or a style preference is um, I like white because you can see that the watercolor pops um, a lot more on the white watercolor paper as opposed to on ivory but again this is just really a personal preference now um, so this is the 150 GSM which is medium grain and this is the cold press 270 GSM so that would be the equivalent of so this is the white and this is the ivory so in effect the watercolor should behave exactly the same as the same paper just different colors so this is the Delta series if you want 270 cold press and if you want the white then it would be the beta better series Okay, and then the ivory medium grain, 
that would be the equivalent of this one which I said to you I quite like and I think I will try it next time. So this is the Alpha series, the white, and the Ivory is the Gamma series. So exactly the same um, paper weight and texture, medium grain. And then let's go to the last one which is the Smooth and that is the 270 GSM. Now the one, the um, Epsilon series is the 150, so the thinner paper, and the Zeta series is the 270. So, like I said, both of them are smooth. The um, the 270 has, I feel it has a little bit more, I don't know if you can pick up on that, has a little bit more texture um, than the 150, just a very tiny little bit. But if we compare the 270 to the other, to the other white 270, which is the cold press, then you can see, hopefully, the change of texture. So this is really smooth, and this has a little bit of a of a grain, of a tooth to it, but you know nothing too extreme, obviously. Um, yeah, so I hope this was quite useful to you from doing these little swatches. I can definitely see that smooth is not my um, cup of tea um, and so is ivory. And then I'm basically left with what I already have in two sketchbooks, no actually three sketchbooks. And the next one I'd, write, I'd like to try is the Alpha series like I said. So I hope um, this was helpful to you and yeah, so now I can actually use my little clip and put them all like this together, clip them and hang them on my mood board and then whenever I'm doing the next order I can just quickly remind myself what I preferred and that's also a great kind of decoration, you know. Um, idea for your little studio so thanks for watching and see you soon